I, <laughs> you, you sent this to me earlier, and I had no idea that it was even a thing. Uh, Ex-Arkansas coach Brett Bielema is suing the Razorback Foundation. He's suing Arkansas over their buyout agreement. Uh, Mark Schleyball wrote this article at 2.13 p.m. Central Time today, so less than two hours ago. Uh, he is suing them for his buyout agreement after his firing in November 2017. In the lawsuit filed against the Razorback Foundation in federal court in Arkansas on Friday, Bielema's attorneys indicated he was seeking just over $7 million. Bielema, now an assistant with the New York Giants, was fired after compiling a 29-34 and record, 11-29 and in the SEC in five seasons with the Razorbacks. Uh, the Razorback Foundation agreed to an $11.935 million buyout in January 2018 and was scheduled to pay Bielema $320,000 per month until December 31st of this year. Um, after paying Bielema more than $4 million, they stopped making payments to him because they believed he was not actively seeking a job that would mitigate his buyout. Now, that was part of his contract. You have to be looking for a job uh, that that can help offset what we're supposed to be paying you, right? You and I talked about this multiple times after it happened because we found it absurd that you signed the contract, you agreed to the buyout, it really doesn't matter what he does after that. That's right. You have to pay the money. Like that's also, the way this goes. They're gonna this is this is tough for them to stop paying when they stopped because he absolutely interviewed for that Colorado job and he absolutely interviewed for the Michigan State job. Well, they, he, they stopped paying him uh after four million dollars. So yes. it had they kept paying him, this whole thing would have been done in But December he's of still this year. looking for employment as jobs right. like you can't say it's October. November, he's not looking for a job. What are we doing? Like, he's we're in the middle of a season. He they, has a job with the Patriots. It would be uncouth for him to leave that job to be looking for other jobs. You could only do it during the offseason. Well, as it, soon as the offseason happened, right. he immediately interviewed for two open college jobs, didn't get either one, took a different assistant coaching job in the NFL. That's tough on you. Yes. Uh, what The reason that they stopped paying it is he took a volunteer coaching job with the New England Patriots in 2018. Well, yes. Now, so that, to get on led, with Bill Belichick, Bill Belichick was not going to hire anybody else. He was fully staffed. Yes. And Bielema said, I would like to learn under the best football mind in the history of the game. And, and, and I'll spend idea. some time here. We'll, you know, Belichick's like, come on, you're welcome to come on. I got a lot of interns. And Brett, chose to do that. I absolutely think that that's allowed, by the way. Yes, 100%. Uh, he became their defensive line coach in 2019. The Giants hired him as their outside linebackers coach and senior assistant this January. Because it was only one year he had to do that. The only one right. year he had to work for basically an intern program. Correct. And then Bill got him a full-time job after that. This Arkansas is going to lose this lawsuit. They're going to, and they absolutely should lose the hell out of this lawsuit. And on top of that... Uh, so they, they would owe another $7 million to Bielema. They still owe more than $10 million to former coach Chad Morris, who was fired in November with four years left on his contract. $10 million? Yeah. Morris had a 4-18 and record in two se- in nearly two seasons oh, at Arkansas, God. including an 0-14 mark against SEC foes. Uh, Bielema, we agree, is a better coach than Chad Morris. We thought this was a bad move to begin with. I thought um, it was a terrible fire. Uh, ben said, but that, I love Brett, though. You know yes. that. I'm oh. in the tank for Brett. Uh, we we would have loved for him to get any of those jobs. I, I really wanted him to get one of those coaching jobs in college. Yes, and I think he will eventually. Uh, but I yeah. think he's more set on on going to the NFL route. Um, mm, but we'll, I don't I mean, know. We'll now he's he's right now working alongside of Freddie Kitchens and under Jason Garrett. I don't think that's lasting long. Well, he's he's not on Jason Garrett's side of the ball. He's He's working. Oh, he's doing linebackers. defense. Yeah, outside linebackers. So, okay. Well, then, yeah, it's fine. I mean, we'll see. Um, ben said, "Did that announcement you guys were hyping up happen?" We're close. Uh, it'll be next week. We thought it was going to be this week. It's going to be next week. So, it, it's not here yet, but it's coming. No worries. We we will have a, a big announcement for you next week. Matt said uh, they got to sell more Tyson chicken to pay off that. Yeah, agreed. Uh, the Brown Yeti jumped in. We hadn't seen the Brown Yeti yet today. What's up, brother? Uh, I agree. I thought Arkansas firing Brett was a mistake. 100%. Like, yes, he he tried. The reason that they fired him, he had a really bad year his last year, right? He saw the direction that the SEC was going. He wanted to, 
Uh, Matt said murder hornet shirts. Yeah, we're we're working on that. We're going to get that. Don't worry. you got to give us more than a couple of days. Uh, the reason they got fired is he saw the direction that the rest of the SEC was moving and realized, oh, crap, everybody else is putting up a ton more points. we got to get our offense more prolific. We've got to do something different than run the ball 60 times a game, right? It, not a major shift, but you you got to switch your personnel around a little bit, and he was in the middle of trying to do that. So The problem is, is he had started one path. They didn't like it. They demanded he pivot. He pivots for them, and then he chose to pivot again because he saw the direction that things were going, and they didn't want to watch for another pivot exactly. in the offense. Yeah, and, and by doing that, they allowed a full pivot with Chad Morris with personnel that was not ready to run a, a full spread offense. It wasn't ready, and they, I mean, they it, it was awful. Arkansas has been awful. A complete oh. teardown. Yes. So now uh, you bring in. No, it's the know, bed Sam they Pittman. made. This is the bed they made. Oh, yeah. I mean, you bring in Sam Pittman. We we like to think Pittman will be we, somewhat successful. We like Pittman, but this ain't happening overnight. No, you better That's be ready to sit a bad football for a team. Yep. A uh, bunch of people jump in here. Ben said, cool. Uh, the Brown Yeti said, I just woke up. I've worked nights right now. Hey, cheers to that. I understand. Graveyard shift is uh, is a beast. We, we're glad you jumped in when you did, though. Uh, Damien said, Corona shirts, too. Uh, <laughs> we got to we gotta come up with all kinds. Of, we need to update the store. That's what we got to do. So we'll, we'll work on that. I'll work on that a little bit over the weekend. Uh, my wife's going out of town for a few days. I've got to go uh, work with Chris and reset up the studio and whatnot. Again, announcement coming next week. We'll let you know when it actually happens. Uh, but we ain't announcing nothing until paperwork is done. So, um, so yeah, there you go. Uh, Chris, is there anything else that we need to hit today? That's it. That is it. Uh, what a fantastic Friday show. All you guys in the chat, y'all have been wonderful. Thank you again, as always, for jumping in. We definitely appreciate it. Go check out winningcureseverything.com. Go check out tunicatravel.com. Uh, make sure you get subscribed on all the different platforms and hit that share button. Hit the retweet button, the share button on Facebook, whatever it is. Tell your YouTube buddies about it. Michael said, as always, thanks, fellas. Have a great weekend. Gig them. Uh, Matt said yeet. So <laughs> you got to love it. Got to love it. All right. Uh, leave a nice review on the podcast, by the way. We, uh, we appreciate that. The number's still going up. We always appreciate what you guys do. As always, take care of yourself. Take care of each other. We'll see you on Monday. Thanks for checking out Winning Cures Everything. If you want to keep up with us, hit subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. Visit the website at winningcureseverything.com or you can like us on Facebook or follow us at Winning Cures, at Gary WCE, or at Chris B. Giannini on Twitter. Share out the show, leave a nice review, and make sure to comment and tweet at us.